Yo, what's up, everyone? Seal here, and today I got dragged into Dr. Rich's basement. I'm forced to record ADV here, and we got Asta versus the Linear Curve. The Linear Curve is on the classiest, and Asta is on the Wi Fi Wolf Pack. This is for SPL 9, week 7. And I don't know what the score was before we went into this match because it's like when <laughs> when I'm recording this match, the entire SPL week is already over. So, yeah, shout out to Dr. Rich for that. Let me actually yeah, turn on this. So, we see Melodic versus Metagross lead. Curve goes into Skarmory, but it turns out to be a special or mixed Metagross. Like, I mean, it's like mixed, but it has special attacks. Now, he should scout for HP Fire, because uh, they do run that, and yeah, it would be just kind of foolish to let that Skarmory take the huge hit. Yup, he goes back to Milotic on the HP Fire. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of interesting. The Metagross can boom on the Milotic, but that would be a bit too premature to already boom right now. If Asta, yeah, Asta switches in a close, so that's a fine switch in right there. It can switch in and get, the, get up this free ass spike. Um, yeah, basically this spike is hella free because there's nothing Curve can do about this. Like, <laughs> like if he stays in, he's just gonna also just gonna get up three spikes and boom. So he's forced to switch out here. Now, if he has like a Celebi in the back, if he has like a so a, like a, a faster Pokemon, a Pokemon like an Oko close, that would definitely be the switch in because he doesn't really need to fear anything. He doesn't really need to fear an Ice Beam coming out because the spikes are so obvious. Uh, also, might predict that though, but I don't. I think spikes is always a play because spikes are just so important in this tier. I think spikes are always a play here. Um, we see the Asta team. I definitely like Asta team. The Metagross plus the spikes. I assume some fast Pokemon are going to be in the back. It's a bit more offensive. Then we see a Melodic and a Skarmory. That is looking like a defensive team from Curve side. I definitely think there's going to be a spinner because it's this because it's fat and bulky. And because I see two electric weeks, I think the spinner is going to be Claydol. Unless he has like some other ground type. But yeah, I don't know. I think I think Claydol would be the spinner. Because both Fortress and Cloyster don't really fit. So, um, the curve thinking about his turn, he goes T-Tar on the Cloyster, which is interesting. Um, so this is kind of scary for Asta, because if this is Banded Rock Slide, this Cloyster about to get his ass ate, so, yeah, this is, it's kind of scary. Um, Surf is going to do a lot, Surf should to a KO, Surf comes out, yeah. Ooh, as a Pursuit comes out, so he, he was definitely trying to predict that switch there. Um, yeah, that, I, I definitely, I think, I still think Curve's play is good. I think Pursuit was a fine play because I think on Asta's part the safe play would be to switch out but it's kind of a HO team so just getting that damage off. Um, the fact that he wanted to get that damage off on Titar kind of shows me that he has something that can get trapped in the back. <laughs> okay I was trying to say that he has something that can get trapped in the back. Let me pause this real quick. This is a hella fast Cloyster. That's actually really heat. So yeah as we see it's, it's kind of an offensive build right. So a uh, fast Cloyster to explode on things like Celebi and just end the turn right there. Oh, that's actually mad fire. So um, the Celebi basically gets knocked out because uh, it's gonna die to spikes and the turn ends with explosion so there's no recover or anything. Damn that's really fire. Um, but just the fact that he surfed on the Titar. I mean it could be a prediction but it could also show us that he has something that can be trapped in the back. Like a potential Gengar or something, because he also has a spike, so I assume I assume there's a Gengar in the back to spin block. So uh, I'll see where he goes that into. I assume just like I mean, there's there's something faster gonna something faster than Celebi, something that can just kill him because he's already at 11. Like he could be, it could be, even be like it could even be a Pokemon that is not very effective. Anything can kill the Celebi at this point. He just needs something faster. So we'll see what Oster reveals here. Uh, Curve team is definitely defensive. As we see a Jolteon getting pulled out, so yeah, Jolteon is obviously gonna be able to just kill the Celebi. Um, if there is a Cl Claydol in the back, like I think, you can switch that in right now. Um, just to preserve Celebi as fodder because, yeah. Oh, what is this? Okay, there's a Dawn fan instead of a Claydol. Okay, so, um, I guess Dawn fan is kind of cool. I definitely like Dawn fan. I think it's a cool Pokemon. Um, I guess it's kind of, it, I mean, he already has a Celebi and a Skarmory for ground types. We see a Hidden Power. I, I was kind of shook. I almost thought that was Hidden Power Ghost. Oh yeah, sorry for this, for this thing in the, in the, in, like, down here. Sorry for having that on, but I thought it was a Hidden Power Ghost to fuck with Gengar. Uh, it's some other Hidden Power, though. I don't know what Hidden Power that could be. It's not Hidden Power Ice, because, uh, what was it, po was it Pokemon called? Dawn Fan? Has, like, 55 special attack. I don't think you could run Hidden Power Ice, because that's special. Um, Hidden Power, what, Hidden Power Rock? But, like, Dawn Fan learns Rock Slide. I, I really don't get this. I think Hidden Power Ghost would be a bit better, but Curve should have his reasons for this. Now, the Gengar switches are really, really limited. I don't see- he doesn't have a counter right now. Because if it's like Giga Drain plus a move to hit the Skarmory like T-Ball or Fire Punch. Like, and yeah, this is really hard for Curves to switch into because even if his last is a switch into Gengar, if Gengar reveals Hypnosis, he can always Hypnosis the last Pokemon. 
actually looking at his team, I don't really know what his last could be. I'm really sorry. I'm I'm no I'm no AD king. So, um, like if this is a known team or something, I I really don't know. Um, some of you guys might already see what the last would be. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see. Asta's team is definitely cool. Uh, some nice hyper offense with Gengar. I assume some. That there's definitely going to be some high power threat in the back. I assume some high power physical threat is going to be in the back right there. I mean, something like a plow through stall. That'd be nice. Although he does have explosion from Cloyster plus a potential explosion from Metagross. So, I mean, that can, I guess, like, eliminate some Pokemon from stall. So, I, stall shouldn't be too, too bad for Asta here. Um, now they're both thinking about their turn really long and hard. For a curve, I get that because, like, his Gengar switch is actually look from look at his team, like, where his switch is. Like, Celebi might be able to switch him, but that, that boy's at 11%. That boy's gonna fall over to the spike. So, yeah, I really don't know. Uh, from Asta, I would throw off a Will O Wisp if you have it, uh, or a Giga Drain. Ice Punch could work as well. Uh, if you have, or Hypnosis if you have it to catch a potential counter, all those plays could work. From Curve, if you have Protect on Don Fan, because uh, I, I don't know much about Don Fan, but Swampert runs Protect just to uh, get some leftovers with the Sand back as its recovery. So you could Protect here to scout what he wants to do. And yeah, this is this is a really hard turn for both of them, because Austin really wants his prediction right, and Curve doesn't have a switch in. So um, let's see. Oh, Protect comes out. Yeah, on Hypnosis. Okay, so Austin does reveal Hypnosis. So that's that's gonna be hard to switch into. Uh, let me look at this chat, see some some information. Um, HP Ghost or Bug? Hmm, yeah, that's interesting. Magneton gets revealed, and okay, that's nice. He catches uh, him on the Willow. I mean, that's nice for Curve because now the Magneton can be hypnosis. Um, although it is gonna be taking Chip instead of gaining, and especially if it's a uh, Protect Magneton, that's gonna suck because otherwise he could just uh, get some leftovers with Protect and everything. What also sucks is that Asta has a Jolteon, and Jolteon is going to be able to wall this Magneton. He can hit him power for like 30. I think that's going to do about 30. Uh, if he has something else on that, I would I would definitely double the Dawn Fan if I'm curious, predicting the uh, Jolteon. Jolteon might be a bit too obvious, so I guess you might just hit something else. You might hit, just hit him power, maybe? Hit power could definitely also be a play, just to be a bit more safe. Um, yeah, what could he, what else could he have? Maybe if, if he has Toxic, he might be able to catch the uh, Jolteon with that and wear it down, which would be nice, but I think Double It On Fan is a fine play. Jolteon comes out, and there's a Toxic, okay. So it is a Toxic variant of Magneton, because it is, so it is a defensive team, so I, I kind of, kind of guess it would be some Toxic Protect variant, just to, like, keep up the defensive, uh, defensive, like, I don't know how to call that, just to keep up the defense, you know. Now, the Don Fan is very, very obvious. So if I'm Asta, I hit BP here. I think it's like I think it's just like a safe blade hit the top pass here. As he hits the T bolt, so very, very straightforward play right there. I guess he can BP out into Gengar here. But that is gonna be another 30% gone on the Gengar, which does suck for him. Um they're both playing very safe here. Which like I get that curve seems is really fat, but I would I would have made some more aggressive plays. But well like I'm not an SPL, they are so they do definitely have their reasons for just attacking straight forward. Um, from the positions or and what, holy fuck, I can't talk. Um, from the positions where they're in right now, I think, hmm, like I was gonna say, I think Lanier Curve has the advantage, but his TTR is low, his Celebi is basically dead, so I don't really know. Uh, hidden Power, yeah, Hidden Power comes out. So breaks the Gengar right there, hits that Hidden Power. We see that Gengar lives another Hidden Power, even with the Sandstorm, which is gonna be nice for us. So we can switch in his Gengar one more time. Um, Will O Wisp is gonna come in or a super effective attack. Um, if he has Giga or Ice Punch, you just fire that off right here. It is Hypnosis Will O Wisp Gengar, so that's definitely interesting. That's definitely like, I mean, it's definitely like the Will O Wisp um, Hypnosis set. Nice dual status right there. Um, Magneton is definitely gonna come in from curve side. You can, you, you probably just go Magneton, right? Um, that is gonna suck if he has a move super effective on Magneton. But I don't think I don't think he would have it. I think it would be like um, what T-Bolt Ice Punch or T-Bolt Giga Drain, something like that. So I think Magneton's sounds quite safe. You can also sack Celebi, but I think that's kind of a waste of a sack. Not really, but I think yeah, I think it's kind of a waste of a sack. I think Magneton is safe. So what comes out here from Asta? Another Willow Wisp comes out. I mean, I guess so. He probably doesn't have Giga Drain or Ice Punch then, or he just predicted him to stay in, but. If you if you're curve, I don't think staying in is the play. And even 
Like, I think Giga Drain or Ice Punch would do a shit ton to Don Fan. Don Fan has, like, zero spadef and zero special attack. That's kind of interesting about Don Fan. Um, it has amazing attack and amazing defense. I see they're talking about Jelking in the chat. <laughs> nice, nice. That's what I like to see. Um, so, Jolteon's really, really obvious from Asta. So, is he gonna predict that Jolteon? No, a straightforward T Bolt. So, another safe play right there. Um, he is gonna be able to chip down the Don, or the, not the Don Fan, the Jolteon, if he is a protect variant, but. He is a protect variant, so that's that's why I don't really agree with the T bolt play necessarily because it, even even if you get the prediction wrong and you hit him power, you at least put the Gengar in hidden power range from your Dawn fan. So I don't know, it's kind of an iffy play on my uh, like for me. Oh, who as he gets a crit with a hidden power? That sucks. That really sucks because otherwise he could have stalled out a Jolteon with one more turn, and that really hmm yeah. I, I think you just go into Dawn fan and hit hidden power here. I wasn't a Skarmory, okay, so. He just wants to stall one more turn with Protect. And then it's kind of a 50-50 between Don Fan and staying in. If Curve stays in with a Skarmory on a Jolteon, he's the best to ever do it, confirmed. Because like a spike would be would be really nice for Curve. So there's gonna be a pretty obvious protect. If Asta predicts that and just baton passes into something, that would be that would be a fine play. What does he do? He just T bolts straight forward. Now this is kind of 50-50. Between um, hidden power from Jolteon or t from Jolteon. Hmm, yeah, this is, it's really hard. He baton passes as he stays in with the Scar- Oh my lord, the Linear Curve is the best to ever do it. Only, only Linear Curve would stay in with the Scar Miana Jolteon. That's really- that's- that's a really sick play. So he basically wins the 50 there, gets up his spike, and the Jolteon's gonna die to spike here. So that's basically a dead Pokemon, just like a Celebi. Now there's no real switching, but he can just stay in right here. As he does have the Jolpex, so Gengar does go down. Uh, that T-Bolt doesn't do shit. <laughs> Damn, Gengar is weak as fuck. So, Metagross comes in here, hit him Power Fire. It's gonna molest. And, yeah, he just attacks here to get a bit of HP back. Milotic is pretty obvious. And, yeah, he does he does have the explosion. So, if he booms on Milotic, that could be nasty. Because, like, Asta obviously has two more Pokemon in the back. And one of those Pokemon might be something like an Aerodactyl. Might be something like a Salamence. Something like that. Some, some physical threat. At least. So he might need his melodic for that. Um he still if it is some Aerodactyl or if it is some Salamence, at least especially if it's an Aerodactyl in the back from Asta, he at least has his T Tar to live a hit, live HP flying, live a D double edge. But yeah, this is definitely definitely rough. Definitely a rough position because his Metagross is definitely a threat. So he goes melodic breaking the HP fire, HP fire does come out here. Um as what can his melodic do here? He can Hypnosis if he has it, because I assume my Lodic would outspeed a Metagross. I don't know. Yeah, he does outspeed him and hits the Hypnosis. Okay, so that's pretty lucky. Metagross does waste a sleep turn, though. So, the chance... If he... Uh, if Curve wants to 1v1 the Metagross, just by surfing, I think Asa is going to get this wake. And if he booms on the Milotic, that could be that could be an issue. So, surf once. No wake, no wake. But there's still one more chance. So, this is his third sleep turn. Chance that he's going to wake up, pretty likely. No wake up, so that's definitely lucky from a linear curve. He hits the hypnosis and then gets three sleep turns. So this could still be a roll. Uh, as you can see here, yeah, it could still be a roll. So I don't know the roll exactly. But from what we see, it, the roll is about 50-50. I actually don't know about it's about this. Uh, this is really interesting. Because like if he if he can yeah, I think he's okay, he surfs and gets the roll. I was thinking about like going Celebi and then hoping he wakes up and explodes, but that's like kind of a risky blow because if he doesn't wake up, that could be an issue. Now who that Aerodactyl gets revealed, I think you just sack Celebi here. Or you go Or you go either Skarmory or Dolphin, or you just sack Celebi to know what which one of the two you go out into. He goes to Skarmory. Predicts the either double edge or HP flying to come out, but the rock slide comes out and Asta gets unlucky once again, so this definitely sucks. This is rough for Austin, missing a rock slide right there. So now, Curve is a, has a safe ass switch into the Dawn Fan. He can even stay in here. Ooh, there comes a crit. Okay, so that's some that's some revenge hacks. This is a free ass Dawn Fan, though. And Jolteon is gonna get sacked, I assume. It depends on the last, but Jolteon sack is quite quite fine here. So it is an Aerodactyl in the back. So Aerodactyl could be a threat. There's still a Titar who is able to live one double edge, one HP flying. Or I mean, not one, but it's able to tank those hits. So Jolteon does get sacked here. Now, what is Asta's last? Asta's last is a T-Tar. So, it depends on the T-Tar set, this could be a threat. If it is some special variant, it is. Okay, it's a special variant with Ice Beam. 
So that's going to be a huge hit on both sides. Titar is almost down. I think what you do is you sack Celebi. Um, and you go Melodic. Then the only the only opportunity Asta has is if he rocks like flinches through your Dawn fan. So you don't let your Dawn fan get low. Yeah, you just go Celebi, go Melodic, and then win the game basically. Because there, there's no way Asta is going to flinch through all of your Pokemon. So yeah, this Rock is going to do a lot. I mean, it's not even a lot, to be fair. Melodic is so fat. So yeah, if he goes into this, a double edge. If double edge can crit the T Tar, he also might go for some crits because that's basically his only win con. He double edges, yeah. So double edge crit on T Tar might kill. I doubt it. Depends on the T Tar set, but if the T Tar is a bit fat, that's like I don't. I don't even think it would. Um, I don't even think a crit would kill T Tar. So definitely, I think they both played very safe this game. Yeah, crit crit could kill. Like not likely. Like crit max roll maybe. Uh, if he gets a crit here and then a crit on Don Fan, because I think Don Fan lives at one as well. Yeah, if he got one of the two crits, <laughs> that could be that could be GG, I guess. But um, yeah, so I think they both played pretty safe. But this was this was a really good game. I like Curse Team. I think it's like nice and fat, nice and juicy with the Magneton, uh, Magneton plus Spinner plus uh, Skarmory. So you get your spikes. They never they like you can remove their spikes. But the spikes were up for the entirety of the game, basically speeding it up. So Doc Ridge's recording ends here. He doesn't uh, show us what the standing standings was. I see that he does that with UB, but uh, he didn't do this for this game. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm no PDC, so sorry if I made some mistakes. And uh, leave a juicy like. Sub to Doc Ridge. Goodbye.